Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture super source, 6725 West Central Avenue, is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741931609. JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. And you can find the Facebook information in the description below. Uh, I'm going to uh, look at some more stuff from that collection I just bought if you watched the previous video. But my DCs came in, so we got. Refrigerator full of heads, A and, and B. Legends of the Dark Knight, A and B. Flash, 775, A and B. Batman vs. Big B, a wolf in Gotham. Got a Tyrannosaurus on the front there. It's hard to go wrong with that. A and B. King Shark, Suicide Squad, 2, A and B. Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 4, A and B. It's not the big issue yet. Next issue is the big issue that everybody's going to want. Speculators Ahoy. Black Manta 2A and B. Where have we seen that before? Conan, the Hulk, one of those covers. You guys see this here? What what's that remind you of? What that cover remind you of? Put it in the comments below. Catwoman 36A and B. And look, it took me a little while. That's Kelly Bundy. That's who that is. That's Kelly Bundy, right there. She's getting ready to put the bopper on butt wiper bud. Scooby Doo, where are you? One twelve. Nightwing, eighty five. A and B. Superman or Batman? Last night on Earth Trade, got the Superman and Batman Secret Files Peace Caper zero one. A and B. <clears throat> Batman Catwoman. I know it's been a long time since we've seen this. This is issue 8. And I think that might be the A. That's the C cover. Jim Lee is the B cover. Shazam number 4 of 4. Last issue. A and B. We've got what? Uh, uh, Nubia. Nubia and the Amazons. Issue 1 of 6. A and B. What a beautiful cover there. Suicide Squad, number 8, A and B. Batman, 115, A and B. Catwoman, Lonely Kitty. I mean, Lonely City. She is probably a lonely kitty. Looks like you got Catwoman throughout the years. That's the A. And that's, I believe, the B cover. That is the B cover. Let's go over to these other books here. The Superman, 199. The first Flash Superman uh, race that sold that it sold out of here. It was fast, very very quickly that sold. Um, so out the door, Superman uh, 199, the first Flash Superman race sold quick. We've got these here. Of course, you saw these before. We've got these here as we get ready to move on to the treasuries and some of the other stuff that we have. Let's see, we've got the great Superman collector comic book collection. I can't recall if that, uh, we went over that already. Here we got this here, Omniverse number one. This was a fanzine that uh, Mark Gruwald, the late Mark Gruwald, was the editor. And this came out in, oh God, what year did this come out? 1977. So a great fanzine there. almost think that's not quite a... Uh, um, Jim Starlin cover there, but this has Jerry or uh, um, yeah Jerry Conway artwork in here. Is it Jerry? Yeah, Jerry Jerry Orway, Jerry Orway artwork. And this is something I am probably going to keep for myself because this is so unique. At least until I get a chance to give this a good read through. But we also have a Marvel Super Special, 007 James Bond for your eyes only. It's a Chaikin cover, Howard Chaikin right there. How you doing there, Mr. Patrick? We've got uh, Star Wars or Star Trek, the Wrath of Khan. Uh, special Starlog production there. Um, Bizarre Adventures, number 27. Uh, the Secret Lives of the X-Men. Is this Bizarre Adventures, or is this, yeah, Bizarre Adventures number 27, Secret Lives of the X-Men. That's in very good shape. Here we have some of the Marvel Indexes. 
Number four, Fantastic Four with a great Jim Steranko cover. This gave you uh, information who the cover, who what the title was, who the uh, credits were, if it introduced anyone, uh, guest stars, comments, uh, just all kinds of great stuff. Villains. These things were uh, a must-have back in the day. You've got some new artwork there. The author notes. And then we've got uh, issue number three, or volume three, featuring the Defenders. Defenders and uh, Avengers, Defenders and Captain Marvel. Great Neil Adams cover. You got the, the Vision shooting blasts out of the hand, which the Vision never really did that. Sometimes they played fast and loose with the Vision's power. And look, it looks like hair. Yeah, it's a very wild artwork there, I tell you. And again, got that artwork there. Sort of uh, based on Jim Starlin and, and John Basama and some other of the artists there. Let's see here. There's Spider-Man was the very first one. There's Defenders. They've got Weird Wonder Tales. Talks about that. Captain Marvel. Has the Jim Starlin stuff in there. Very, very cool. These here, I don't see these very often at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen the Marvel equivalent. It would be Foom Magazine. Foom magazine, but The Amazing World of DC Comics. Special Batman issue, uh, Jerry Robinson cover. This is number four. We've got number five. And again, the shape on these here, now that's got some rusted staples there, not that notwithstanding. Spike loses again. There you got a Frank Robbins Catwoman. You got number seven, Kurt Swan. There you got Neil Adams. Number eight, Carmen Infantino. You got Clark Kent there, Superman of America. You've got number 10, uh, Murphy Anderson. Um, you know, what if they discovered this isn't the Justice League headquarters? And you've got that on the back. Sometimes they would have uh, unpublished story or new stories in these things here. And you got checklists, uh, interviews. Hey, I'm sorry, whoever's on the phone, I am not going to be stopping. I've got to get this thing done. So I apologize to whoever's on the phone there, but I've got other stuff I'm doing right now. Uh, this is number 11, Dick Dillon, who did Justice League. The Justice League stuff was outstanding. That's a cover to uh, All-Star Comics number 37, of course. Again, I look forward to looking and checking these things out before... Um, before I you know, bag them up. And I guess the story here is an unpublished um, Secret Society of Supervillains. I never, never saw print. Here you got Mike Grell uh, with the Legion of Superheroes, issue 12. And then you got Warlord there also. <clears throat> Walt Simonson Metal Men on the back. Look, you even have, you've got Welcome Back Connor. Get that there. Uh, again, great stuff. It's, uh, I think that's Mike Grell. Yeah, that's Mike Grell. So new stories that probably were never, ever, uh, never, ever reprinted. There you got the ISIS right there. And I bet if you uh, happen to be someplace and maybe John Travolta is doing a signing, I wonder, he's probably never, ever, ever signed this book. Take that book there. Freak his ass out. Issue number 13, Sergio Aragonis. Oh, my God. How can you say anything about Sergio? And then it's got a Wally Wood back cover. Man, double bonus there. You've got, again, look at this stuff. Great, great stuff. There's Wally Wood, Steve Ditko. Oh, my God. You know, I might end up keeping these for myself. The ones I don't have doubles to. You've got issue number 14. Dick Dillon cover again. We've got two number 14s. On the back cover there. Mm, I think that's Carmen Invitino, perhaps. Almost looks a little bit like Carmen. A little bit doesn't. Um, that was one of the, like, uh, SeaWorld attractions. 
Again, very cool. I can't wait to check this out. We've got one on Wonder Woman. This is a uh, Mike uh, Nasser. I think he did the artwork. Photos uh, about Linda Carter. Got the back cover. Neil Adams, Dick Giordano. That seems to be a uh, new strip. Got some again Wonder Woman stuff there. There's Linda. Her name is Linda Carter. And then finally, issue number 16. This doesn't last very long. I think you had to have a special subscription to get this. I don't ever remember seeing these on the newsstands. Special wraparound cover. In fact, this may be the last issue. Golden Age issue there. Look at that. Wraparound cover. Yeah, I'm not sure who did the artwork there for this here. Let's look on the inside. See if it tells. Table of contents. Cover, cover, cover. Marshall Rogers. All right. There you saw Christopher Reeve there. So let's move on to the next things. Of okay, course, so we saw these already. All right, 26. We'll go with, uh, we'll start here. We've got Marvel Special Edition number one. This came out in 1975. Uh, this here reprints Amazing Spider Man Annual One with the Sinister Six. I had this as a kid. I love the hell out of it. Uh, this is the very first Marvel Treasury Edition, Volume One. Uh, I had a chance to buy this when it came out, but $1.50 was a lot of money to spend, so I ended up buying Amazing Spider Man 137 instead. We were someplace here in Ohio, I can't remember, we were getting our uh, Irish Setter Pup. And uh, so that was that was pretty special. But we got the cover, cover gallery there. And again, just look at these issues. These things are immaculate. I sold the number 25 earlier today, which was the uh, Winter Olympics one. But we got volume two, John Romita artwork. We got volume three. That is John Romita artwork also. Can you hang on a second? Okay, we got to hurry along here. This is uh, Romita covered here. There you go. You've got this here. The thing about this one here, the nice thing about this here, this was used for this book here. That was the inspiration for the unquotable Trump. Look at that. And he... Uh, got John Romita pretty dead on there as far as that. And then you got Herb Tremp artwork on the back as Bruce changes into the Hulk. You got Frank Bruner doing the artwork on Doctor Strange number six. You got Bruner artwork on the back. The Mighty Avengers number seven. This is Jack Kirby front and back. And I think Romita did the inking on that. You can tell. Look at the vision. Thor is a number seven, a number ten. That is Kirby as well, front and back. Uh, maybe Frank Giacola may have inked him. Kirby again did the cover on number eleven with the FF, front and back. This is certainly not Joe Sinnott inking him. I think it might be Mike Rorrell. Uh, number thirteen, the giant superhero holiday grab bag, Gil Kane. This did have. A uh, new artwork in it as a framing sequence. So you do have new artwork in this. But Gil Kane, uh, Joe Sennett, front and back. Gil Kane and uh, Claus Jansen and the Defenders, number 16. Front and back. Uh, this is issue number 17. I can't recall. Uh, let's see, who did the cover? Cover is... And it looks like they do not give credit... Who did the cover on this one here? It almost like or looks like Ernie Chan. I may be um, the back cover. I don't think is Ernie. It might be Bob Brzezinski. Uh, number twenty got the Rampaging Hulk. Uh, Jack Abel inks. I know that much. And the same with the back cover. Uh, number twenty one. This is uh, John Basama. Big John Basama. Behold Galactus. And front and back, I think this might be the 
this is not the Galactus Trilogy. This is like issues 120, 121, 122, and 123. John Byrne artwork on the Rampaging Hulk number 24. All new Hercules Adventure. And uh, Bob Brzezinski and uh, Bob Wyacek back cover. We've got uh, this here, Rampage Hulk. This is number 26. This has a brand new, and this has been reprinted a couple of times. Um, it's with the Harpy, uh, Hercules, and, and Wolverine. And George Perez did the artwork with this here. Very, very good, if not just for that reason there. You've got Betty. Let's see. There's some, some nudity panels there with Betty, Betty Ross. The back cover, I can't. Maybe Ron Wolfson. It looks like Ron Wolfson artwork. We've got Superman and Spider-Man. This is the second time they teamed up again. It's just too bad. This cover here, corner there, is banged up like that. Wonder Woman and the Hulk's in there also. Here's the amazing world of Superman. This is the official Metropolis edition. Special giant map of Krypton. Superman and his incredible fortress. All new collector's item. We got Ross Andrew, Superman 2. This has interviews, uh, talks about the making of the film and bios with the characters. Um, wow. No wonder Zod uh, was all over Sarah Douglas. Look at this guy here. Man, he'll beat your face in. It almost looks uh, like Jaws, but it's not quite. Uh, Terrence Stamp. Behind the scenes, you know, rip Lois apart. Very, very cool for the Superman fan who perhaps thinks he has it all. We've got this here, Marvel Super Special Battlestar Galactica. This has what Walt Simonson artwork. There's Dave Cockrum. Is this Walt Simonson or is this Dave Cockrum? Um, no, this is uh, Ernie. Oh God, Ernie Colon. Got Buck Rogers. Never even really knew Marvel did a Buck Rogers uh, Treasury Edition. And um, let's see who did the artwork on this here. Um, Frank Bull. I think this is a reprint of the Gold Key stuff, or maybe this was Gold Key stuff that didn't that uh, Gold Key called it a day. Captain America's Bicentennial Battles. This is a uh, new stuff by Jack Kirby. All new. Look at him. Congratulations, Sam. You're as fit and young and fit as ever. Happy 200th birthday. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This is the Whitman variant. This, uh, Walt Simonson did the art on this. So this is early Walt Simonson, early Marvel Walt Simonson artwork there. We are not alone. Giant Superhero Holiday Grab Bag for 1975. This is like a best of. Great John Romita senior cover, front and back. This reprints. Let's see if it shows the covers here. Uh, there's the covers that, and as far as what it reprints. Here we have DC and Marvel present Batman versus the Incredible Hulk. I believe this is written by Len Wein. Len Wein, Jose. Luis Gar uh, Garcia Lopez, Dick, Dor Dick Giordano. Very, very good with the shape of the world. This here is quite the uh, find. Superman versus the Amazing Spider-Man. This thing looks like it's brand new. Just came out. Uh, Gary Conway uh, wrote this. Uh, Jerry Conway wrote this. Ross Andrew, Dick Giordano. Uh, very, 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 very cool. Let's move on to the the DC treasuries, or as they would call them, famous first editions. Initially, this one here reprints Batman number one in its entirety. In fact, a lot of uh, people would rip off this front cover and try to sell this as an actual Batman one. The same with Detective, the same with Action Comics 1. There's people, a lot of people were taken, uh, taken, uh, fell, fell victim to that. This reprints All-Star Comics number 3, the first appearance of the Justice Society. And with this here, they did not reprint the cover on the inside. Uh, Flash Comics number 1. 
And again, the shape on these books, some of these aren't quite, but uh, some of these are very, very, very mint. Uh, you've got Batman, which is C25. There's two of these. This one here is the lesser. That one there is not quite as nice as this one here. This one here has got this corner here, and that's about the only thing about that one that I can really question. There's the Action Comics one, which is C26. And as you can see, if you rip that cover off and want to go to somebody that didn't know any better, they're like, well, comics were bigger back then. You know, you could sell that to somebody for probably $300,000. Again, you got the full story inside Sensation Comics. Number one, this is C-130, or just C-30. First appearance of Wonder Woman. It's been a while since I've had these. These things are hard to find, and to find them in this condition, holy smokes. Uh, this is C-31, Superman. How to Draw the Man of Steel, Super Games and Puzzles, 3D Cutout Diorama. You've got C-37 here with Batman. Uh, five thrilling Batman tales. There you got your tabletop diorama again. You've got again Superman C38 uh, top of tabletop diorama. See, you can buy these things and cut these things up and have lots of extra fun. That that person who bought this, they missed out on that fun. See, you need to double up and and have the fun for them. Here's C-39, Secret Origins of Super Villains, plus a giant two-page pinup of the villains you love to hate. Let's take a look here and see if, uh, if that's in the middle here. Oh, there you go. There's your rogues gallery. Everybody there. Lots of different artists. Lots of paste-ups. There is your tabletop diorama. Here we've got C-44, Batman. So this person pretty much bought Batman, Superman stuff. And there's a few other things too. Unfortunately, the Muhammad Ali Superman is not in here. The Superman Shazam is not in here also to the chagrins of one of my customers who bought the Marvel Olympics one earlier. C-45, more secret origins of supervillains. Uh, the villains you love to hate, plus special special features, plus there's your 3D diorama. My God, how many of these comics were ripped up because people put 3D dioramas in them? There's Mr. Mixiplex. Uh, he's a he's a prankster. Got the Justice League of America C46. Um, that's great there. Look at that there. You got the Justice Society of America on the back there. Again. Got some information. Look at that inside their uh, uh, their their satellite. Everybody's there. They're getting ready to have a big party. Satana's there with their fishnets, and uh, you know what that means, right? Green Arrow brought his special his special trick arrow along. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more. Say no more. Is she a goer? Is she a goer? We'll find out. C-47, Superman salutes the bicentennial, not the let's Captain America, you know, that fascist let him get away with hogging the bicentennial, you know, Superman's got his own, uh, his own spit on it. And then we got the presidents of the United States on the back, everybody from George Washington, great presidents, like Thomas Jefferson, what a great man he was. This country has a lot to, uh, be thankful for having a president like uh, Thomas Jefferson and Andrew Jackson and James Buchanan and Zachary Taylor and James Monroe and Abraham Lincoln and Ulysses S.S. Grant and James or Warren Harding, Woodrow Wilson, uh, Franklin Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, oh, Tricky Dick himself, Richard Nixon, you got Gerald Ford and you don't have Jimmy Carter or the rest of them. You know, it'd be like the like the uh, Gilligan's Island, you know, it lists all of them and and the rest. So no Jimmy Carter, no no Reagan or Clintons or Obamas or Trumps or or, or Brandons in there at all. Uh, here we have Batman C fifty one. This is Neil Adams. This is a wrap around cover. This is the Ralph Al Ghul saga where he first showed up. So this reprinted. Uh, look, there it is. There's Superman Muhammad Ali. 
but you've got all that. Here's the, the covers. You know, Batman 232, 242. You know, you can't afford the original ones. Here you go. Here's the best of DC Volume 1. This is C52. No diorama, though, but again, a wrap around cover. This was a brand new story. This is all brand new. Superman versus Wonder Woman. Uh, very, very, very good. Uh, awesome artwork, awesome story. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to last in here. Look at that. It's front and back cover. Here is the Legion, Superboy, and the Legion of Superheroes, C-55. The Wedding of Saturn Girl and Lightning Lad. Mike Grell artwork. And again, let's take a look at this amazing wraparound cover. Holy crap, that's so nice. Um, again, Mike Grell. Give me Mike Grell. Give me Mike Grell all day long. Here's Batman's Strangest Cases, C-59. Uh, I think this is a Dick Giordano cover. This might be Neil Adams. Um, that's a wraparound cover as well. Look at that thing. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, the House of Secrets there. Uh, lots of great uh, stuff in here. This is all. I was going to say, where's the, where's the covers at? Where's the covers at, people? They're, they're in here someplace. Swamp Thing's in here. Man, you got Swamp Thing in here. Swamp Thing and Batman. Is this Bernie Wrightson? This is Bernie Wrightson. Bernie freaking Wrightson, man. Look at that. Len Wein, Bernie Wrightson. Awesome. But if you guys do like these videos, as always, be sure to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And after you subscribe, smash the bell for notification. Be sure to share. Be sure to like. Be sure to comment. Did you have any of these? Did you want any of these? Do you want any of these? But other than that, I've got customers in here that are waiting patiently for me to get done doing my little dog and pony show here. And uh, after I get done with them, maybe I'll get a chance to answer that phone. But thanks for watching. Everybody have a great rest of your new comics 